Hey everyone, this is Kiri with another layout for Bramble Fox. And uh, for this layout, I'm using a number of the new sets from the shop, the City Break set and the Cool Chevron set. I'm also using a couple of the Fox dies, the number 10 City Map and number three Number Borders and Paper Snips number 27. That comes with the June Fox Box Plus subscription. Um, okay, so I am using the new 49 and Market Vintage Artistry Everywhere collection. Bit of a tongue twister almost, that one. Um, and um, because I have some travel themed photos, obviously, to go with um, the City Break perspective that I'm using, or the City Sites, I should say. Um, okay, so basically, I'm just sort of pulling out elements from the... Um, the paper collection and the perspectives to work out what's going where. I am one of those scrapbookers that I really need to know what I'm doing before I start to stick things down. And I really do play around with, you know, where things are going to sit. So where some of the things are right now, they don't end up like that because I sort of change my mind as I go. Um, but I'm definitely not someone who can just grab things, pop it on, and it looks amazing. I really need to think about um, where I want to sit, um, you know, what layers I want and the sort of clusters or embellishment clusters that I want to pull together. Anyway, what I've done here, I've pulled a few elements, and this is from the, the ephemera pack, and I've pulled a few pieces. So there's like a, a map. There's a ticket, a couple of tickets I'm going to add in um, and layer those with my photo. But I'm bringing in um, the City Map Fox die. And I love this as a layering piece for um, my um, photos or, you know, just adding into layers. Now, I'm trying to do it there with the um, with my um, big shop. But oh, my goodness me, it was like making the loudest noise as I was trying to wind it through. So I ended up having to do all of that off camera. So I've die, um, I've cut the city map die out of that sort of, it was very dark sort of blue um, pattern paper. And then I've also pulled in another die. And this one's from the Fox Fox die set number three, the number borders. Um, and I really love that sort of, you know, note paper sort of edging piece. And I thought I'm just going to add a little bit of that in over on the left there. So I'm now, um, I'm starting to sort of layer the pieces up now. So I've got the um, city map die piece there and I've cut it in half because I'm otherwise, I, you know, I just was, a load of it was going to be hidden anyway, and I might as well use that for another layout. And then just layering up the, you know, the pattern paper pieces that I've got, ticket elements, and then I can sort of get things stuck down. So I'm getting the photo on the right added, and, and usually for me, it's actually stuck flat. Um, and then I've got my larger photo and I'm just at the moment adding some foam pads to the top, which I normally do. But I just decided I thought I'd just see because I wondered whether I should just mount the whole photo on foam tape and um, stick it down. It's not what I'd normally do, but it felt like it um, looked right for this. So I do go with that. I've just added the foam tape across the um, back of the whole photo and then I can get that stuck down. So at the moment, I've got this sort of loose layered piece that I will get stuck down eventually but I'm still sort of you know playing around with it just looking at what's um sitting where before I actually get stuck down to the background um so I've got a few of the smaller pieces of the ephemera and I've got a couple of the small perspective pieces here that little sort of star banner um and I'm just sort of working out which is what's going where now I start to stick this little circle piece down um says life with you is an adventure but I she changed my mind totally and I don't have any of that up on that top left um, corner of the photo I actually move it so um, here we go I've now got the photo layers all stuck down um, and I'm now going to build up the um, embellishment clusters so I'm going for one down the on the bottom left here of the photo so just adding some of the ephemera pieces and then I'm adding that geotag over on the smaller photo in the end. I, I took it from that top left and I'm moving it and adding it just there. And I'll bring in that round circle that I'd stuck down before and then took off. I'm adding it into the middle of the geotag there. And then I've got the lovely, um, these are the chevrons from the new cool chevrons set. And there's a, there's a load of 
different chevrons. There's some more up the top of my, the screen there, the three that you can see um, in different blues. So um, I really like those to add sort of some extra sort of, they almost give direction to the, to the layout. So I've got those pointing across to where effectively my journaling and then my title will be. So um got those stuck down and then I've got the cluster at the top so I've just layered up some tags and tickets and then the on the go sign there and then the city sites um which will be my title is um I keep moving that one around oh I'm sticking the chevrons down now I thought I'd already done that okay so I'm just sticking those down um using the glossy my glossy accents as per usual for perspectives because it gives a nice strong hold um okay I'm playing around with this tag cluster at the moment. I wasn't sure whether I was going to tie that point sort of all the way across. Um, so I'm sort of having a look at it, figuring out, you know, will it does that work? But I wasn't completely sure. I mean, looking at it on screen now, it looks all right, actually. I didn't. I actually ended up tying it into a bow and then I sort of twirled the, the strands, the ends of the bow along the top and down the side, so which you will see in a bit sort of fiddle around with it there but to be honest it's the sort of thing for me I need to do off camera because it would it's honestly it takes it's a bit fiddly um right I can get that stuck down now and I think there we are. I'm still moving that city sites around but I know that's where it's going to go it's going to sit down there to the right of my photo um and I'm just going to get that part so I really like that sort of pop that the black gives to the layout sorry my head is in this video a lot um, I'm, I'm having to lean over and make sure everything is obviously either straight, you know, particularly when you're adding sort of things like chevrons and you want to make sure that they're all, all right. Um, okay, but I'm just adding a few more pieces of, you know, ephemera, just bringing in a little bit more of the orange into onto the photos there and um, just those little photo corners. Right, here we go at the top. Now I've got a couple of little of paper snips, just the little phrases that I've cut off. So I've got one at the top that says simple pleasures are priceless treasures. That's the one in the blue. And then I have another one um, that I will tuck in just above the small photo that says today was so memorable. So um, the photos are from um, our recent weekend trip to Bruges in Belgium and um, it was for our anniversary and actually we decided last year that on our anniversary, we were going to go and do a city break somewhere in Europe each year. So this was the first one. So, and we had a lovely time. Bruges is such a pretty city, perfect for just wandering around. The canals are beautiful. It was really, really lovely. So we had a great time. Okay, I'm getting the top lot um, set of three chevrons um, on up uh, over there. So just layering them across the tag and under the um, word phrases that I've got stuck there. And um, I'm just getting off some excess glue there that I'd accidentally put on. Um, and here we go. I think there's one more word and I'm going to tuck that under. And then I'm almost done. Now the rest of it I just finish off camera. So I just get the twirly bow set. Um, I also add a bow to the top of the large photo. And then I added my journaling and just a few enamel dots. Here are some of the close-ups. I hope you've enjoyed watching the process video and I will see you again in my next um, process video soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.